We're going in-depth tonight in our local real estate market. The collapse of one of Central Florida's biggest home buyers is sending shockwaves through the market. Zillow will be putting hundreds of homes for sale after it faced accusations that have put a chokehold on home prices. Nick Pampatone is live in the studio after speaking to a realtor about what went wrong and how this will affect home prices. Nick? Yeah, Zillow became big because it made selling your home easy. It's called iBuying, and hundreds of Orlando families clicked a button and got an instant cash offer. This is just a few of the examples. Those cash offers above the value of those homes. Now, this past year, the company used an algorithm to sell the home for profit, but the algorithm failed. 2006 East Harding Street is a five-bedroom, 2,000-square-foot home in Orlando's Hourglass District. It's also an expensive mistake. Neighbors say the owner listed the home for $285,000 last year. Then he got a cash offer from online real estate company Zillow and sold. At around $430,000, and then Zillow then relisted it for $510,000 initially. The company's eye-popping price hike caught the community's attention. That's what they used to do. But real estate agent Ray Lopez says that was the business model that turned Zillow into a major player. They're going to buy it today, put some paint, carpet, fix this and fix that, not a lot of money, and then put it back on the market a month, two or three later and sell it. Over the past year, Zillow listed close to 1,000 homes in the Orlando area. It sold 330 and has another 350 with pending offers. A few hundred more are currently on the market. Realtors estimate the company is holding on to another 500 in its inventory. But the company's executives say they're shutting that business down. Where Zillow got into trouble is they projected that the market would keep going up at the rate that it's been going up for the last 12 months. The model worked last spring and summer during the real estate frenzy when homes got 10 offers hours after being listed. Zillow could afford to pay more than the homes were worth. At the end of summer, the market began to cool off and other sellers dropped their prices. Zillow kept going. Zillow kept paying top dollar, over asking, over asking. So they ended up getting these houses, trying to put them back on the market, and they couldn't sell them at anything close than they bought them for. 285 to 430. Did they do the work that made it worth that? No. The house was still pretty much the same as when I looked at it online. Agents say the loosening of the stranglehold the company put on the market will affect three different groups. Smaller investment companies will have less competition and more room to cut deals. Real estate agents will also benefit. I can show my value and they, they being the seller, can make the money that Zillow open door offer pad we're going to make. And buyers won't be paying high premiums. Kind of disgusting for them to buy a property at a price that uh, they did not really do anything in the way to increase the value of the home. The East Harding Street home is now listed for $20,000 less than Zillow bought it for. Agents say the company's experience is a lesson for everyone. That whole guesstimation of value just happened to bite them. So, if they wouldn't have done that, they would still be King Zillow. So the big question, are these hundreds of extra listings going to bring down prices? The market has been cooling, but agents say no. There are still too few homes for sale compared to normal. They also believe Zillow will hold on to its inventory until February or March to hit that peak buying time and cut its losses. In the studio, Nick Papantonis, WFTV, tonight.